Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do some very, very special comparison. Now, I wanted to do this comparison for a while because I'm really curious. I'm really curious myself about the differences between the two. So, today, I have, yes, CZ75 Tactical Sport versus CZ75 Tactical Sport and this is their two racing green and this one is the orange Captain Obvious but let me tell you guys the difference is not only in colors there are some really really slight differences in the trigger there are slight differences in the grip at the end of the day I want to be fair with you if you're just looking this video because you want to buy one of these amazing really truly amazing handguns you just you just want to decide which one you should go with at the end of the day they're both fantastic and you're gonna enjoy them if you're not that serious into the competition if that split second doesn't really matter to you between the draws between changing the magazines and stuff like that you're gonna enjoy both of them but if you are really really serious about your game you probably would want to know which one what is the difference between these two machines. I mean, competition machines. So, I have the magazines over here. I have some uh, 9mm rounds. Both of them are chambered in 9mm. Both of them are available in different calibers. 40, 40 Smith & Wesson. That's uh, one of them. I think that's really the only two, the 9mm and the 40 Smith & Wesson. My personal favorite is 9mm, so I have 9mm over here. Got two magazines. Yes, they're both interchangeable. In fact, if you do have both of these handguns, I recommend using green with orange and orange with green, just to mess with people like that. I'm gonna put some rounds in the magazine. Uh, the magazines, I've done the individual reviews on both of these handguns, so if you really wanna see like up close, check them out. But the magazines are, are pretty straightforward, nothing crazy, double stack. Um, very easy to load, nothing crazy over here. So I'm gonna put some five rounds into both of these and then we're gonna do some back-to-back -back firing. As you can see, the uh, targets are freshly painted. So I'm gonna ruin some paint on these targets today with these uh, competition handguns. Let's see, let's see, really, I'm, I'm really, I'm curious. Is the difference noticeable between the two? Okay, so, I'm gonna start with the orange, because older generation, gotta give respect to the elders. Nice magwell, very easy to get this thing in. And I think, nope. Yeah, so the magwells are exactly the same, exactly the same on both. The magazines are exactly the same on both. So no difference there so far. All right, I'll start with that yellow little circle in the very middle. Okay, let's go. Four out of five bullseyes, and then I'll do the orange right above with this green. Oh my goodness, this is a bullseye from the first. Unbelievable. Holy cow. I mean, look at this grooves. Groups, not grooves, groups. Let me uh, zoom in on this. Now, I'm not really a great shot, honestly, but these guns, they really do make me a great shot. So I'm gonna show off while I get a shot. Look at those groups. <laughs> so the green one is on the top, the orange one is on the bottom. Pretty, pretty much everything is bullseye. Yeah, okay, so now that I'm done showing off, with really not my shooting, but the, the accuracy of these unbelievable, I'm freaking believable guns. Honestly, I didn't notice any difference. They're both absolutely fantastic. If you miss, if you get this gun and you miss, 
You probably shouldn't have a firearm at all. Nah, I'm just kidding. Get a firearm and go and freaking train. It means you have to train quite a lot because with this handgun, these both of these handguns, there's absolutely no excuse not to hit the target. Okay, let's start from the very, very beginning. I'll try to be as detailed as possible because they are pretty much identical. Let's start with the grip because the grip on the orange one does feel a little bit smaller, just ergonomically a little bit smaller. Check this out. And I think I see one of the reasons why. Now, it can be also the thickness in these panels. I think the green, well, they are definitely shaped just a tiny little bit different. As you can see, uh, on these panels, on the orange ones, you have a finer grooves going compared to the green ones. The green ones you have a little bit more defined grooves. I think the biggest difference in the grip however is the definition of the beaver tail. Check this out. So on this, on the orange beaver tail, you have over here extra cut out. So you see how it kind of goes over and there is a little bit of a groove, smooth groove, to give you a little bit of that slide when you're getting your grip if you're doing a quick draw very important in a competition to have that kind of a slide because everything is fast so you kind of have a little bit of a room to play while you're drawing the gun you're kind of sliding in to that beaver tail so this is kind of what it is designed for and here you have a little bit of the extra cut out right compared to the racing green now you see the difference there is no extra cutout so this is a little bit wider compared to the orange and that's why i think it feels just a little bit bulkier in my hand now personally for me my hands are pretty small and fingers are pretty short so i think the better fit for me personally is orange now i still can have a great grip on green but i think orange just fits a little bit better, just a tiny little bit. But everything else is, pre is practically the same. You have the G10 pattern on the back for extra aggression. You have G10 on the front, and the same exact thing is on the green. G10, G10 on the back, G10 on the front. You have your mag release, same exact mag release. Well, except different, uh, dif different colors, as you can see, but the same exact shape the same exact, exact uh, size, same exact operation, not ambidextrous, so keep that in mind. All right, moving on, we have our safety switch, and the safety switch on the green one, as you can see, it's very nicely extended because you want to use it as a thumb rest for your grip. And the same exact things, I mean, it's exactly the same safety switch, is on the orange, very nicely extended as a thumb rest. And on the other side, it is ambidextrous safety, and you don't have that extension on the other side, obviously, because you don't need it. Just a little bit, uh, kind of, you still can use it, but you, I mean, for that purpose, you don't really need it. Now, now moving on to the, uh, another thing that is exactly the same is the slide release. Exactly the same slide release, one hand operation. Okay, now, moving on a little bit further. The, uh, speaking of the aggression and speaking of the grip, trigger, trigger guard, the front of the trigger guard on the orange, as you can see, there is a, a little bit of uh, aggression here, kind of very similar to G10 uh, pattern, but on the green one, I feel like you have a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more extended. Check this out, a again, a tiny difference, but you can still see, I mean, it's still different. Overall, the um, trigger guard itself is shaped tiny little bit different on the green and it is a little bit wider, a little bit bigger compared to the orange one as, uh, let's see if I can get it like that, oh, there you go. Ta-da, check this out, just a little bit shaped differently. Obviously the trigger is gonna be a little bit different too but we'll talk about the trigger a little bit later. Okay, another very dis distinct I can't freaking talk today. Distinct, very distinct difference. I think this is like the biggest difference uh, on these handguns is the gas pedal. Gas pedal is freaking amazing on both, but it's very different on both of them. Check this out. So this is the gas pedal on the green. Here, you can have your thumb pressing down here or you can have it laying all the way down 
here press, pressing down from the very front compared to this gas pedal on the orange check this out here it's only pressing forward there is no really kind of an option to do it here so i think on the green the gas pedal is just a little bit a little bit more versatile a little bit more versatile at the same time a little bit more bulky compared to the orange one but more versatile because you can do it this way or you can do it this way it's up to you guys whichever one you like more i think both of these gas pedals work fantastic uh, but it's up to you to decide so let me put a few rounds through both of these handguns yet again and then we will talk about the sights and we will talk about the trigger overall if you have not tried this uh, cz 75 ts if you can find a range nearby where they rent guns i highly highly recommend coming to the range and uh, renting it and shooting it. Just, just, just try it out. Just try it out, just see, see what, uh, I mean really it's, it's probably one of the best guns that I shot on this channel. And I mean, I've shot so many handguns. This CZ, I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's really hard to express. I'm telling you guys, the first time I shot this, it pretty much ruined every other handgun because after that I was like man there is no gas pedal it's not as tight the sights are not as sharp as on point the trigger is not as unbelievable okay so uh, this time I'll concentrate on the flappy pedals because why not there's no excuse not to hit them with these guns and I'll start with green all right And I got one miss. No excuse to miss with these handguns. All right, so let's uh, let's try to talk about the trigger. This is not going to be easy, but I'll do my best. So let's start with the orange. We have very, I mean, super light, super crisp trigger. We have about like a millimeter going very safe very familiar travel nothing crazy and then you have a crisp super super crisp break. let's do it again so safe travel nothing crazy and then super crisp break now the green we have about the same about millimeter and then super crisp break Wow, okay, so let's do it, uh, let's see if we can do it this way. Ha! Huh. I think, I think the trigger, let's see, let's do it again. I think the triggers might be actually the same. Or, no, I think that I'm pretty sure they're the same. Might be wrong, but if I am wrong, that's how close they are. I mean, fantastic triggers, unbelievably crispy, unbelievably sharp, and unbelievably light. For a competition, this is probably the best trigger I ever tried. But even if they're different, that's how close they are. It's really hard to tell. Okay, moving on to the sides. We have standard three post sides with a fiber optic at the very front. Check this out. Let's see if my camera can, uh, will ever decide to focus here. Oh, there we go. All right, very easy to uh, get your uh, side alignment and acquire your target. And the same exact thing is here, as you can see on the green. We have, uh, where's my camera decided not to focus? There you go. Fiber optic at the front, standard three post, exactly the same size, adjustable rear side. Now moving further, we have a little bit of a difference on the slide uh, for uh, 
as you can see on the green one, the serrations on the slide going a little bit further compared to the orange one. Here, the serrations are a little bit on the back. Now, overall, on the green one, there is a little bit of a difference in the thickness of the slide. As you can see here, it kind of meets the frame at the bottom and it's pretty much exactly the same width compared to the orange one where the slide is actually thinner than the frame. Check this out. So I'm gonna bring them both here and none of them are loaded. And as you can see, yeah, there's just tiny little bit of the difference. Now you probably noticed uh, the difference in uh, the barrel color specifically. Uh, the guide rod looks exactly the same, although on the green one it extends a little bit out when you have it racked backwards. The barrel looks the same even though it's different color. It does look the same, the, the same exact thickness. So I'm not sure if they actually decided to go with a different material on the barrel. Uh, but you guys check this out and you probably be better off uh, doing if you want to go into the technical uh, details on the materials and all that sort of stuff. Uh, probably better off doing that research yourself. Another thing that I wanted to point out is the beaver tail as itself. On orange, as you can see, it's a little bit thinner and more extended compared to the green one where it is just a tiny little bit shorter and a little bit thicker. So, let me put some uh, few more rounds through both of these handguns and uh, man, this is gonna be like the toughest conclusion I have to come up with. I think if you're like me with the smaller hands, with shorter fingers, you're gonna be better off with the orange. Just because the ergonomics of the grip is just a thinner overall grip. Now, whenever it comes to the weight, I think the orange one might be lighter. But again, it might be my mind playing the tricks on me because I said that this is like, the slide is thinner, the grip is thinner, so technically it should be lighter, right? But I would check the specifications, the exact dimensions. I will actually put them in the, in the description in the video, so check it out. And I usually do on all my reviews, they're there. Okay, so let's uh, work on those fluffy pedals. See if I can uh, maybe not miss Conclusion, honestly, just being as honest as I can be. Whichever one of these you buy, you're gonna definitely appreciate it. You're gonna love it. It really is minuscule differences between the two. But at the end of the day, I think the only real advice I can give you guys is if you do have smaller hands like myself or shorter fingers, you probably be better off with the orange just because the ergonomics of the grip feel a little bit thinner. Uh, it feels just a tiny, I think a little bit lighter, but again, I might be wrong. So let me know in the comments below guys, what do you think about this comparison? Which one would you go with? Let me know your reasons. Uh, I would be really interested uh, to read those. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms for America. I'll see you guys in the next video.